So it's Thursday the uh, 23rd of May, time for physics fun. Well, it's not quite Friday. We're looking at um, a circuit breaker. So modern domestic electrical systems use MCBs or miniature circuit breakers to protect the house wiring from excessive currents which will cause overheating and possible fires in the building or in the wires in the walls of the building. They've generally replaced fuses for mains wiring protection, although fuses are still used obviously in small appliance plugs and other lower current situations. So MCBs are usually thermal magnetic circuit breakers and they use a combination of a bimetallic strip, which is thermal, which would be this would be the bimetallic strip going across that gets hot and then bends. It's two pieces of metal sandwiched together. When current flows through them, of course, they get hot due to the resistance of the, of the uh, metal strips. But the two metals behave slightly differently, and if they're glued together, they cause a curling effect. Um, the other way to do it is to have a solenoid or a magnetic sort of uh, field generated. So in here, this is a solenoid. There is a magnetic field generated when an excess of current flows, and it pulls up. It's like an actuator that pulls up um, a metal rod, which pushes this switch up and turns off this switch here. This is the switch that will turn off. Now, to pre I can press for a short circuit down here, and when I do that, you should see this actuator arm move and the magnetic field come on, or we can leave it for a while, we switch it on, and then we watch this slowly curve up. Now, the power comes in here. I've got a reset button, but all of the exciting bit happens at the top. So what I'm going to do is just uh, zoom in just to the main part so you get a really good view. So what we're going to do, we'll switch on. So let's, uh, let's switch on first and we'll press for a short circuit. So, oh, there we go, short circuit. And we've had a short circuit and the pin moved and it's gone off. So if I now turn it off, I should be able to reset and the bar's gone down. Now, I'll show you the other method. So we're going to switch on and then we have to wait for a while and we need to watch what happens to the strip. So the strip will slowly heat and then it should do the same thing because obviously here it's connected to the bar. Let's see what happens. So keep an eye on it on the strip. Oh, and it's gone. You can see I'm going to turn it off because it makes a noise. And you can see here the strip has started to bend up only a little bit and it's done exactly the same thing. So I can push across again and reset, but I can't push it down. There you see until this is cooled down. When it cools down, it will reset. That is a very simple demonstration to show the circuit breaker. It's got the thermal one and the magnetic one all in one kit.